everyone, Rhonda Robson with Rhonda's Tri Artistry and welcome back to my Fluid Art channel. Today is number four of a series that I've been trying to layer different types of techniques on a canvas. And this one in particular is about putting rings or circles on top of uh, what I did was patches and before that I did was a dutch board before that was a swipe so here's my tester and i showed you this in this last one and i'll link that one right there and then i'll also link all of the ones for this down below but this is the ring right here that i did this is my tester so let me show you the full results it looks like this i'm very proud of it i did multiple different layers using the same colors but different techniques to get this really cool depth i also varnished this and the first varnish i put on there was a matte finish i didn't like the matte finish i thought i would uh, but i didn't so then i actually put a gloss finish on it as well well let's get you down on the canvas and show you how i did these rings it'll be a quick short video but i'll link all the other videos down below all right well thanks for joining me and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell that way you can get notified when i have a video up a new video up yeah anyway all right well let's get you down thanks for joining me bye okay so i have my tester on here because i always like to test things um, that I did even with the swipes uh, before. So I have my tester here. I've got my paints over here um, that I've put cups over top of them. I'm gonna be putting the paint, let me move my circles over here. I'm gonna be putting the paint on this and then dipping this here and then on here. That's how I'm going to transfer the paint. So uh, let me get started with that. And it's probably going to be just you know different kind different colors um, as needed um, and what that's going to look like i'm kind of just going to kind of just you know i don't know just kind of make some swirls with some color and yeah just kind of go from there so And these have been sitting for a little bit. They do have silicone in them. Um, I did not, uh, I don't know, try to make different colors again. Here, I'm gonna put this over here so you can see it as I'm putting it on there. But um, as I am using the paint, uh, I need to restir it because it's been sitting here for about a week again. Um, and then I just put cups over top of it to keep it so that it was going to stay good. Because um, the last thing you really want to do is have to mix colors each time that you want to do this. So um, this time I happen to just use these cups and just keep them in the cups. But a lot of times I'll use uh, some tea bottles and those tea bottles um, work really well uh, if you've got quite a bit of it still left. So okay. let's get some gold in there. And you don't want to scrape the sides because the sides are dry. So I'm just stirring the bottom and then just allowing it to come out. Okay, because if I uh, stir it on the sides, I'm going to get flecks of paint, dry paint in it, and I don't want that. Okay, here's some black. This is kind of a was a, I think that was the off white and I think this is the true white. Yep. I'm just trying to get all the colors that I have on the paintings throughout this. Whoops, I probably didn't need to, didn't want to do that. That's okay. Last one is the 
darker green. I guess it's more of the medium green because I already put the dark green in there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these off to the side, this paint again for probably later. I'm going to still continue to work with different techniques on this. I'm going to put this off to the side. And I'm not looking at doing a bunch of different um, sizes, but I do have uh, the smaller one, which is a little larger than that one. I have this large one and then uh, this smaller uh, medium size one. So I've just got four different sizes. If I feel like I need to just use one size over the other, I'll just do that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to kind of move this all over. So I can get different colors in the different areas <clears throat> so I can transfer. You can see that it's got cells in there too. So, okay, so let's just try it um, with, um, actually, let's try it with a plastic one. So let's just go here. So I've got it on there and then I transfer it there. Okay, so that one makes kind of like a double ring. So not quite sure I want that. So let me just kind of put that off to the side. We'll see. Let's see what this one does. Not bad, but see how it's got the different colors? That's what I'm kind of looking for. So that one's okay. Oops, get my plastic out of the way. Yep, that looks good. Um, I still may use that small one. And then let's just see what this one looks like. Different, it's a paper towel. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so um, I think the key here is I think I'm gonna start with my larger ones and not put as much paint on it and not push it down, um, just lightly put it down. So maybe like, let me just, hold on. Let me just kind of put it on the top of the surface of the paint, get some paint, and then just barely put it down and then up. Yeah, like it. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna make circles on here just similar to what I did here, but um, with a little bit more gold on this one. And um, I'm going to use the same size as I did on that one, which are my cup, my um, paper towel dispenser, my little cup, and my bigger cup. And I have my paints over here that I have covered so that way they don't go bad. And then I have my plastic sheet right here that I'll be putting the paint on. So. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now so that you can see that. You know what? <clears throat> I am going to cover that so that way in case it leaks in, it doesn't get down here.
And I'm just going to put this off to the side right here. Hopefully you can still see that. See? Yep. Okay. And then I'll dip my cup in there and then I'll transpose it to over here. <clears throat> so let's start with the big cup. So I just take it and I dip it and then I transpose it. So let's see.
Love it. Thanks for watching and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.